I'm sorry, I totally ended up spacing it out, but I just threw this on my little desk thing and was going to put some tags in and then I just ended up kind of going around the whole thing where it's gotta get cleaned up, but that's kind of what the plan was, was to have that in there opposite that. <laughs> That's why you always turn off. Good lord. I'm actually extremely surprised that that even was arcing, let alone. Welders are scary sometimes to think about all the power they got in them.
here, you can see where it wasn't pushing enough metal in. So I'm just gonna run right around there quick, just... Actually, I'm gonna go and do some things first. for one second. I got this thing in place and I need to. One more and I'll be good.
Well, I can tell that's got heat penetration all the way through there, so I'm happy with that. I mean, it's not the prettiest welds I've ever done, but like I've said earlier, I I used to weld a lot when I was in high school. Well, not a lot. I had a couple years of uh, metal class when I was in high school, and uh, I enjoyed it. But I only ever did stick welding, so I bought this, and this is like literally my third little little project I've done. My transmission cross member, uh, my new parker's door for their uh, suburban, the hinge um, mechanism had broken, busted up, and I think just also from like opening the door and letting it kind of like slam open or like you know, swing open, um, where the mount is was actually broken, like. It was um, cracked along the top, or one side, bottom, and the other side. Like it was just one side of the metal was holding it in. And uh, so I used it for that as well, which is a little bit. I mean, that stuff is pretty thin metal to begin with, so. I had to uh, really, I, I learned a lot better on how to use poetry at that point because it's a lot less forgiving when you've got, say, like 20 some gauge steel. Anyways, sorry for rambling again. I'm gonna do this here again and see if, see if I can't get it to not pop.
Nothing happens, I find it. for the other side. And now that that's done, I will be uh, um, moving this table just slightly, apparently. Um, I'll be putting on a bead around the outside here to seal up the tubing then. I know that those rosettes hold pretty well from what I was testing the other day, but I mean, this is just solid. I think with this one, I'm probably going to go around on the outside and do it in bits like this, instead of rotating. Yeah. It literally died right at that last little heat. That's funny. 